I want to do this video because I haven't did a weekend video in a long time and I was like well let's do something that's totally not cancer related and like still make a vlog um so I just got dressed I feel like I got a lot of accessories on also look what I got such a cool girl take my dog out to the vet and yeah we'll talk later because we're kind of rushing so mm -hmm. My boyfriend never lets me out the house. <laughs> so I was so excited to get out that I forgot my mask. So here we are. Welcome back to our house. Okay, I know that sounded weird, but it's because I'm sick. Not because he's trying to R. Kelly me. <laughs> taking Billy to the vet. She had to get a fecal exam, which is basically where they test to make sure she doesn't have heartworms. Uh, she had to get a Bordetella vaccine. Was that all she did? I don't know, I think that was all she did, but I feel like I can finally talk. I want to make a video because, well, my last couple of videos are gonna be all about cancer and all that and, uh, I don't want to think about cancer all the time. Like, I just want to have a weekend that's just kind of like, you know, not dedicated around cancer, even though I still, like, every day in my life, like, I can't, like, forget it. Um, Monday, I go back for treatment number three. But this weekend, like, during, like, towards the end, like, when I'm literally about to go back is when I feel the most normal. Like, I feel like myself. Like, I don't feel like... I don't know, I don't feel sick. I and mean, this is a moment like where I feel the best and I just I just wanna keep like feeling this way, you know? Uh, so I decided to do nothing this weekend. Like we're, we can't do anything. One, I can't do anything. Um, my immune system is so compromised that if I get a common cold, it can send me to the hospital. So <laughs> I kind of was like earlier, like Kwan wouldn't let me out or my boyfriend wouldn't let me out. But earlier, it's just mainly because he's like super concerned about like my health and like, not getting sick and things like that so it's more so just like he's really cautious about everything like if they say don't eat hot stuff he's not gonna let me eat anything hot. <laughs> i'm the type of person that i'll eat it and then i'll be in pain and then i'll cry about it and then he got to hear me complain about it but he just like you know we're just not doing that so for the last two weeks because my immune system was so bad like i literally have only been around him and our dog like i haven't been around anybody else and I asked him the other day, I was like, do you want to go like to a restaurant and sit down and like actually eat? And he said, no. <laughs> he was like, no, we're not doing anything until your doctor say that you can go out. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> so I don't know, that's like the main thing. Like I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of at the point right now where I'm feeling okay and I'm feeling great and I'm kind of sad that I can't do absolutely anything. 
So today I was like, let's go out. You know, I can sit in a car while you take the dog in. Even though I didn't sit in a car, I got out because I needed to. So he sat in the car, but he didn't know what Billy needed. And I just felt like it would be better for me to talk to them and tell them what my concerns were. One who like take her to all her doctor visits. I'm the one that plans all that. Like I'm like the mothery, I remember your doctor's appointment type thing. So, that, and yeah, we don't really have anything to do. But today I want to, one, I wanted to straighten my hair to the point where it actually looks nice. Um, so this looks kind of gross. Here, I'm gonna put this hat back on. <laughs> so yeah, I wanna do that. And then we also plan on cleaning up. So I'm gonna start cleaning while Quan is at the grocery store. So we need to clean the kitchen, clean the bathroom, sweep the floor, mop the floor, wash clothes. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna do that. So let's get our Saturdays going. I'm up the floor, clean the dishes, wipe down counters, put clothes in the washer. I am kind of tired. Like, cleaning up is a lot of work. Um, so, like I said, the other thing that I really want to do today is my hair. Um, look at Did you, Bailey? How was your vet trip, Billy? Did you love it? Did you have fun? No. Now, Billy is a Velcro dog. She um, get that from her French Bulldog side. Like they're really bad with separation anxiety. She's gotten better. Like she doesn't cry and bark as much as she used to when we leave. And like she doesn't tear up anything. You can just tell that she's terrified. But, like she uh, has to be on me at like all times of the day um or near me so when we took her to the vet she didn't want to leave with the guy to go in the back room she like kind of like tried to hide she acts like i'm not i'm gonna leave her and never come back or something so she's weird my boyfriend came back from the grocery store but then he forgot something so he had to leave and go back to the grocery store um so that he can make dinner and or lunch i don't know we're having chicken noodle soup because i've been craving it homemade chicken noodle soup but like the egg noodles and like not like Campbell's, cause I don't, I don't like that. Low key feel like I need to make a cute bathroom, cause I spent so much time in my bathroom that it should look cute. Um, but yeah, let's do this. We are going to straighten our hair. What if my hair don't fall out? <laughs> then I just ruin my hair for nothing. Is that gonna be funny? I think it will though. So. Yesterday I was talking about how I wish when I originally started doing YouTube, it was like 2015, 2014-ish, continue to do it. If you think about it, it's a lot of things in your life that you don't remember. So having like video 
it could be just like a diary or like a timeline so like i know people would like come at influencers about recording their life and oh it's so cringy but like if you think about it they actually have something like really cool and magical that you don't have you can see like how much you've grown that because you documented it and it's on video and i think that's like I don't know that's cool i definitely think like me from 20 year old kayla to 28 year old kayla like we're just we're just two completely different people i've grown up <laughs> i think it would have been cool to just see that growth compared to like just noticing it you know like to look back and be like wow i can't believe that that's what i used to do it would have been crazy like i think i wish i would have like done it but can't can't go back in the past can't regret things so i think that's another reason why I like this part of like me wanting to do vlog well one i was doing them before mainly so that i can have something to look back on like i think that i still have a lot of time to grow like, as an adult like now since i'm basically entering <laughs> in that real adult stage leaning from like young adult to adult like not middle age because i'm not middle i don't know in what age am i <laughs> i'm in limbo land like i my brother like we was having this store like conversation and i was like yo i feel like something is going to happen that's what i told him and this was before i knew cancer i was like i feel like something's going to happen something's drastic is going to happen i was like i feel like i'm like in this part in my life where i'm just like dead smack in the middle like i'm not young anymore but i'm not old like i'm just like in limbo land and i was like like i feel like i'm just like very stable which was like really weird <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to say that like stable is weird but like being a person who always had like so much change or like stuff going on like i feel like my childhood or like my young adult like 21 to 24 shit even 25 ish like it's just it was like a lot like i was like going up i had a lot of highs i had a lot of lows i had a lot of like figuring out to do like, big drastic things in my life that like happened and then for the last like two years like my life pretty much been like stable like it's been good like i haven't had anything like major that seemed like it was life-changing if that makes sense <laughs> to me i felt like i was like like in limbo land and then you know you see your friends getting married you see your friends getting kids you see your friends buying houses i'm like i want to eventually but i'm not there yet to say like yeah let's do it like but i don't know i have a lot of stuff to figure out um i think that we uh, compare our lives to people and we shouldn't compare because everybody's on their timeline but it's just, i'm not comparing anything i think i'm just gonna take my time right now my main focus is on my health it's just i always been like the type of person and i'm like i'm not making plans i don't make plans i just like go with the flow which is good and bad because <sighs> bad because i feel like it it limits me like i have to do shit when i probably could like kick myself to go a little faster or figure out shit and not just like oh well it happened when it happens but at the same time if so many things that in life you can't plan and it just happens because i get really obs obsessed with things and i get really like, <laughs> i get really like you know committed like i am a sagittarius and for me i don't have like a middle ground i can see both sides but when it comes to stuff that i really care about it's either i really really care or i don't care at all so yeah i forgot where i was going with that things don't work out as planned like if i was so committed to what i planned and the shit did not work out i think it would traumatize me more than if i just you know went with the flow so <laughs> i just go with the flow it's the end of the year and you know towards the end of the year you start to reflect on your year and honestly the last two years of like since covid i have no fucking idea what happened or what i've done like i just feel like covid maybe maybe that's why i feel like i'm in limbo land <laughs> maybe. like covid just made me forget like two years of my life so right now my main focus is my health and after that no